Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We're talking to Francis, Francis Skaliski with the Department of Conservation. Welcome, and we know you got some exciting stuff going on right now. Yes, an we, event that you're doing. Yes, we do. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it's Eagle Days. It's an event we put on every year, cooperation with the Springfield Green County Park Board, Dixon's Park Zoo, and it's to celebrate bald eagles that are here in the Ozarks in the winter. Oh. And what I didn't know, I got to talk to Francis. Um, I, we talked to him a lot of times. Yes, we have. I didn't realize that Missouri was so prevalent with bald eagles. Missouri is one of the p most populous states for wintering bald eagles in the lower 48. We have, in a good year, we can have up to 2,000 eagles, more than 2,000 eagles. Reason being, we have a lot of open water in okay. the state, one of which is bodies is at Lake Springfield, yeah. which is where part of the event is. Part of the event on Saturday, first time, Saturday is going to be from 9 to 4, 8, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Sunday is going to be 12.30 to 4.30. At the Springfield Conservation Nature Center, okay. there's going to be eagle events. There's going to be a live eagle furnished by Dickerson Park Zoo. Okay. Eagle programs in the auditorium where people can get an up-close personal view of the eagles mm -hmm. or of an eagle. At Lake Springfield, at the Springfield Park Board's Green County, at Springfield Green County Park Board's Boathouse facility, uh -huh. there are going to be spotting scopes set up where we can see hopefully some of the bald eagles that overwinter at Lake Springfield. Even if we don't see bald eagles, there will be our staff there to tell you about some of the other birds uh, that we see. Because Jeremy referenced, we were out there the other day, we saw pelicans out there. That's oh, another yeah, great, yeah. interesting sight. Yeah. So, are, are the eagles, uh, when people get to see one up close, are they usually bigger than they oh, think they are? They're huge. They're, yeah. You know, they're, they're, they can weigh anywhere from 8 to 15 pounds. Their wingspan is up to 8 feet. Eight feet. Wow. The big, the, the most, and of course, this is not the only. These two days are not the only time of year you can see, or not the only time of the winter you can see eagles. Throughout the winter is a great time to go out and see eagles. Lakes are good places to see them. The, obviously, the whitehead is, a, is an identifying right. factor. But one of the best identifying factors is just their size. They are so much larger than any bird you'll see. You know, they are uh, uh, our patriotic symbol. They're a national yes. bird. But all that aside, they're just such an impressive bird. Get out to Eagle Day, see eagles, and after that, get out on your own and try to see them. It's, it'll be a great, good trip. Absolutely. Have you ever seen one, Kelly? I have, but I wanted to ask mm -hmm. you, I, I feel like I've seen some in the summertime. Are they still here mm -hmm. in the summertime yes. as well? Yes. We have a small resident population of bald eagles and that stay here the, throughout the year. Okay. But in the winter... Uh, we get a lot of uh, migrants from the north. As things kind of freeze up and get really cold in the north, they come south. As I said, they, they like open water. They're fish eaters. They uh -huh. eat other things too, but primarily they eat fish. Missouri has a lot of open waters. Think Table Rock, think Stockton, yes. Palm de Terre, Missouri River, Mississippi River. Lake Springfield. We're lucky. Uh, yeah. We, like we are come lucky. Here. So yes. that's why they come here. They can always find open water, which means they can find places to get fish, mm -hmm. and we are the benefactors of that. We sure are. And they're so beautiful. Look at this. Now, you said, you know, around 2,000 in the winter. Uh -huh. How does the Department of Conservation track <laughs> yes. them? That would seem difficult to do. Right, right. Well, what we do, and many states do this, what we do in the state of Missouri, Missouri Department of Conservation, we have midwinter eagle counts. Middle of January is when the population is usually at its peak. Our conservation agents count uh, the, in their county. They count how many eagles they see in their county. And granted, it's just what they see. They, they, drive, you know, they, they drive the roads. They get out on the lakes. But these counts are then totaled up for the state. They're turned over to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Even though the state is no longer endangered either federally or in the state, we still like to keep track of how bald eagles are doing because they did come back from the brink of you know, being yes. in really bad trouble. I was going to ask you about that because they were almost <coughs> extinct at one point. Right, right. Two things were going on. One thing was well known, another not so well known. The well known thing was DDT. Oh. It was an insecticide, very effective for killing insects. Unfortunately, mm. it also helped cause the nesting problems. The, oh. the, the eggs had soft shells, the eggs could not nest. Oh. Another thing that was going on, particularly in Alaska, for much of the Early for much of the first half of the 1900s, there was a bounty on eagles. Yeah, they were thought to be predators of the salmon industry. Uh -huh. Research has shown they didn't hurt the salmon industry as much as what some of the business people thought. Mm -hmm. But there were thousands of eagles that were shot as part of a, I mean, collecting bounties. Wow. So and that was in Alaska. Yes. But that and the DDT, we got rid of both of those. Eagle populations have come back. And now we can see you. See what we can learn from yes. the Missouri uh, Department of Conservation. I did not know the reason why, but um, are we building up the population somehow now? The Is it working out? Yeah, the population appears to be stable. As I said, DDT was a, a big thing okay. that we when we got rid of that. 
uh, and the population does appear to be stable. I mean, an eagle is a large bird right. that, you know, nothing's going to take it down as an adult size. So it can right. live, you know, 30, 40 years in the oh, wild. That's a, my favorite yeah. setting. I was down, I own a house in Hollister. Mm -hmm. And when I lived there, I was putting Christmas lights on my house. Yeah. I was up on the roof, and I looked up, and there was a bald eagle in the blue sky, and it was the most majestic thing I'd oh, seen. Just watching so a bald eagle fly, I felt patriotic and excited <laughs> at the same time. I was well, like, Yes, sir, bald eagle. <laughs> I hope you're paying attention. Don't fall off. Yes. The yeah. Absolutely. All right. So, Francis, it yes. tell us the dates okay. and times yes. again. This weekend, Saturday, January 18th. Sunday, January 19th. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Nature at the Springfield Conservation Nature Center and Springfield Park Board Boathouse. Sunday, 12:30 to 4:30 p.m. For more information, you can call 417-888-4237 or go to mdc.bo.gov. We always love seeing you. I love Thank you, you so I love much, being on here. I love it. <laughs> so great to see you. To All see right. You. More fun on Ozark's Box AM right after this. That you said a mouthful. He did. You certainly did, sir. <laughs> you got it out. You guys are great. <laughs> I <laughs>